Hey guys. So, I haven't done a soft spoken video in a long time. And I think that most of you prefer whispered. Um, I know I do. I can't really sleep when someone's soft speaking. But I have had a couple requests for it lately. And um, also, I'm going to talk about my trip to Mexico. And I feel like it's going to be hard to whisper all of that just because I have like some funny stories. Hopefully you guys are okay with the soft spoken. Like I said, most of the time I'll do whisper, but every now and then I'll throw in a little soft spoken for you guys. So, I'm also going to be making some brush sounds as I do this because I have three different kinds of brushes. I really tried to get the hair out of this. I know it's gross, but like this brush is called a tangle teaser and it's kind of hard to get the hair out. So like, I'm sorry, it's kind of gross. And then I also got this comb because I feel like it could make good sense too. So yeah, we've got these three. I tried to clean the hair out of the other ones, but your girl's got, your girl's got a mane. So, you know, like, there's only so much I can do. Oh no. So anyway, we're gonna just kinda do some brush sounds while I talk about my trip to Mexico because yeah, I wasn't planning on making a video when I got back just cause I have a lot going on. Like tonight I'm going to dinner with my family for my birthday, like early birthday dinner. And then tomorrow, going to dinner with friends for my birthday and then this weekend we're doing a boat thing for my birthday basically my birthday is like a whole month long celebration so I am going to be really busy but I had a little bit of time today before dinner so I thought I miss my my YouTube subscribers so I'm gonna make a quick little video so I also want to say that I did dye my hair and I'm really happy because it pretty much looks the exact same as my hair color before like and it got rid of most of the grays um I did get really sunburned on my scalp so if you see that I'm sorry but yeah like it got rid of most of the gray and I like the color a lot it's pretty much what my hair was before I feel like um, but this is the Madison Reed that I showed you guys so anyway, I think it turned out good, and I used the the Olaplex finally, and I do think that it made my hair look less damaged and more shiny and healthy, and it's only been one use, so I'm really happy about that. Anyway, so this is the brush that Heidi from ASMR by Heidi got me. Um, in my package that you guys saw a few months ago that I opened and it's got lemons with little stars and glitter inside. I'm gonna do some brush tapping as well because I know not everyone likes just the bristle sounds so we're gonna like mix it up. Okay, guys, we're like four minutes in. I haven't said anything about my trip, so let's get going. So to start, it starts out really funny. So I think I told you guys I went to Cabo with my friend Laura. And we went because we're both turning 35 this month. And she actually has a timeshare at this place. And the resort we stayed at is called Pueblo Bonito Sunset Beach. So I would recommend this resort to anybody who's looking for an amazing place to stay in Cabo. It was beautiful, guys. I posted some pictures on my like community page on here that you guys probably saw, but like it was breathtaking. Like I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. It was beautiful. Like every room has an ocean view. There were six pools, ten restaurants, beautiful, I mean, I'm just, yeah. 
It was so beautiful. So my friend has a timeshare there. So she booked the room and then she said, hey, you can come with me. All you have to do is pay for your flight and the all-inclusive. I was like, okay. Cool. So it was fairly affordable for me to do that. And so she booked the room. So I had no part in the room booking. So we get to Mexico on Saturday the 15th. And we have a shuttle that's supposed to take us to the hotel. And we get in line, we, we tell the guys our name, and he's like, I don't see you on the shuttle schedule. And Laura's like, that's weird. So she's like looking through her paperwork. She's like, we're supposed to be on the shuttle to the hotel. And I'm like thinking, hmm. So while she's looking through things, I decide, to pull up the hotel reservation. Okay, so again, we were there for Saturday, May 15th. I pull up our hotel reservation. It's for May 22nd, literally a week from that day. And I was like, Laura, Laura, <laughs> we might have a little bit of a problem here. Now, I didn't want to panic because I didn't want to cause her to panic, and I knew that she was the one that booked it, so I didn't want her to, like, feel bad, but, like, girl, how the F did you not notice this? So, when I tell you, though, even though I was keeping cool and calm and collected, my butt cheeks were like, because I'm like, what are we going to do? Are we going to have to fly back? Like... Are we going to be homeless on the streets in Cabo for a week? Like, what are we going to do? So, we panicked for like a minute. And then she called the hotel. And they, they were able to move the reservation up a week. Thank God. Because, you guys, so scared. So... That's how the trip started. Slight panic, but we made it work. We feel very lucky that they weren't sold out. <laughs> I think it helps that she has a timeshare though, because I think they're a lot, a lot more flexible. But then, a really another crazy story about the trip is when we were boarding the plane in Dallas to go to Mexico, there was a couple standing behind me and they were about my age, maybe like a little bit younger. And they were talking about what seat they were sitting in and, and they were talking about how they're row 30 A and B. And I turned around and I said, hey, I'm 30 C, we're sitting together. And we thought, that's kind of cool. Like, what are the chances that we'd be standing right next to the person who we're gonna sit with? So then we sit in our seat, we get to talking, and I ask them where they're staying. Turns out they're staying at the exact same resort as we are, which is kind of crazy because again, there's like a ton of resorts in Cabo. So that was kind of cool. So they were really fun. We ended up exchanging numbers and like meeting up while we were at the hotel and stuff like that throughout the week. Well, then on the next Saturday when we're going to check out, I look over and they're checking out at the same time at the desk person next to us. I was like, okay, are you guys on our flight back? And they're like, yeah, we leave at 1130. I was like, so do we. What the hell? So we find out we're on the same flight back, which is already so crazy. Then... When we're standing in line to board, they come up to me and they say, just for shits and giggles, what row are you sitting in? What's your seat? And I said, 26C. And they both were like, you are shitting us. And I was like, what? There are 26A and B. So I sat next to the same people on both flights. Guys, like, I can't make this shit up. Like, I feel like I should play the lotto. 
Do you know the odds of that happening? Those flights are so big. There's so many seats. And I, I did like, you know, the auto assign or whatever. Like I didn't pick my seat. Like what? I, they picked their seats, but I didn't pick mine. So how freaking crazy is that, y'all? Like I sat next to the same people. So we were like, okay, well we're like pretty much destined to be friends at this point. So we like, our friends on social media and stuff now they're really fun too they live in Fort Worth which is pretty far from where I live like it's like an hour so like I don't know if I'll see them again but isn't that so crazy guys like that was the cr one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me then of course you know when you go to these resorts you make a lot of friends like you know you get in the pool everyone's just being friendly I started talking to this one girl and her husband and they're like, oh, we live in Reno. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I live in like the Dallas area and they're like, we're in Dallas. And I was like, oh, kind of like, and I told them where I live. And she's like, that's where I'm originally from. That's where my parents live. Then I tell her where I work. I tell her I work for an insurance company. I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of it, but I tell her where I work. And she goes, oh, do you know so-and-so? I said, yeah, I actually trained her at work. She goes, that's my best friend's mom. I was like, y'all, what the heck? What is happening? Super small world, I'm telling you. So then we became friends on social media. And then we made a few other friends that we like hung out with quite a few times throughout the week. Like it was so much fun. mistake that I made was on Sunday, basically like our first full day there, I wore sunscreen, of course, but I guess because I hadn't like gotten my summer base tan yet, um, I got sunburned and I put sunscreen on like three or four times that day, but it was SPF 30. And with the sun in Mexico, it's really, really strong. Like, it's closer to the equator than where I live. So, I think that was one of the problems. Is like, the sun was just too intense for me. Even with my SPF 30. Which I normally don't burn. But, girl, I got fried. And I wonder if you can see. I'm going to show you guys. Like, it's peeling. But, like, uh, you can't really tell on here. But, it's... can't really tell but yeah my dumb ass got burned on the first freaking day there and so that's a problem when you're in Mexico and everything you're about to do for the next week is out fucking side so then on Monday we went swimming again but this time I put on SPF 50 and I put it on like every hour um but I guess it wasn't enough because then I burned again on top of a burn. Like, I got like a double sunburn, y'all. Can't be good. That can't be good. So then on Tuesday, I told my friend, I was like, I have to stay in today. Like, she went out with some people that we met, but I was like, I have to stay in. I cannot go out in the sun today. Like, I, my skin needs a rest. It was on fire. So I actually stayed in on s Tuesday and she went out. And then um, we met up with some friends for dinner that night. Uh, 
Um, and then Wednesday, we actually went snorkeling, which was so cool. I had to wear a shirt while I snorkeled, but that's okay. And um, the water was so, so blue. And um, there wasn't as many fish as I was hoping, but I did get to see a lot of fish. But we snorkeled and we got to see like the, the arch that, you know, that Cabo is known for. And um, oh my God, I got so many beautiful videos. It was just to die for. And then we also were able to paddleboard and kayak while we were out there. It was really fun. But that ended up being like an all day thing on the boat to get out there. So we were so pooped on Wednesday when we got back. Um, I will say I was there for seven days and I never really got drunk. There was one night I did and I was hungover the next day and I was like, fuck that. Being drunk is never worth being hungover for me, and I get hungover super easily. So I was like, mm. so I was very, even though it was all inclusive, I didn't drink that much, honestly. The food was to die for, y'all. Oh my gosh. I mean, for an all inclusive, the food was so good. They had the sushi restaurant, and like it was good sushi. And it's like, all oh, you can eat sushi. I like the good stuff, you know. We had sushi several times just because, like, you kind of get your money's worth for that. Um, but they had this, like, place called the market that had, like, different, like, it's almost like a really fancy food court. And they had, like, a bar in the middle. And then there was, like, Italian, Mexican. There's, like, a 50s little diner. There was um, a cafe that had, like, scones and pastries and coffee and smoothies. There was a gelato stand, like all this stuff was like free, like that's so crazy. Um, yeah, and there was like 10 restaurants and like six different pools. And there was this one pool called the Sky Pool. It was at the very, very top of the resort, like because each like different building is like goes up kind of like um, in Greece. You know how in Greece you see like the buildings are all built up on like different hills kind of? Um, it was at the very top, so it, like, looked down over the ocean. Oh, my God. I was like, this is not real. Like, this is not real. It was so beautiful. So, I don't know how expensive that place is if you were to just go without a timeshare. I have a feeling it's pretty pricey, but if you have the money, please look into that. That I'm not getting paid for this. No sponsorship. Pueblo Bonita Sunset Resort in Cabo most beautiful place I've ever been. You can't, I will say you can't swim in the beach because the riptide is too strong, but there is a resort next door that you can swim on the beach and you can just take a shuttle over there if you really want to swim. But the pools are beautiful and they basically are along the, the beach. So you kind of still get like the beach feel. I'm so into these stories that I'm like not even tapping very much. Um, if you guys do want a separate video just dedicated to brushes, let me know because I'm not doing a very good job. Um, I'm distracted. But. My flowers on this nail came off, but not this one. It's kind of weird. Can I tell you guys? I mean, like I said, the main stories were the fact that the people that I sat next to on, on both planes, and then um, the us having the wrong dates for our reservation. Oh, we met this one couple. They're like older, like in their sixties, but they were so nice, and they um, took us out to dinner at one of the downtown restaurants called Edith's, I think, and. So it, it was off the resort, but they had like the best food. And then they went fishing the next day and they called us up and said, hey, we caught some fish and we're gonna have one of the restaurants on the resort prepare it for us if you guys wanna join us. So we joined them for dinner and we got to eat the fish that they caught that day. So that was really cool. And 
then we met this one couple. They were really, really drunk and annoying. We had to like avoid them by the end of the trip, honestly. And they had a karaoke bar on the resort that turned into like a dance club at night with a DJ and that was really fun. I liked it too because it wasn't that hot like in Cancun. Cancun was super hot and humid, but Cabo was not very humid, which I love. And it gets kind of chilly at night, which I love. But like the daytime would be like in the 80s and then like 60s at night. It was like awesome weather. And it was like raining and monsooning while I was in here in Dallas while I was in there. We were happy to miss that. Day there we played pool volleyball which was really fun and I chipped my nail I don't know if you can see it but it's not a square like the others I chipped that damn nail um, but it was fun so yeah overall like it was just an awesome trip the only thing that I will say is that by the seventh day I was ready to go home I was just I missed my bed because the um the pillows there really sucked and so I wasn't a fan of that and then um what else like I love my friend but by seven after seven days of sharing a room with her I was like all right like it's time for us to go our separate ways for a little bit I love her we didn't fight or anything but you know it's just like a long time to be with someone you know But yeah. but yeah, everything else went smoothly. Um, what else can I say? They had, um, we had to get a COVID test the day before we left, which the hotel provides for free because it's required by the U.S. to come back. And <clears throat> believe it or not, that was my first COVID test I've ever had to take because I've never thought I had it, so I've never had a reason to take a COVID test. <clears throat> and damn dude, they like poked my damn brain. Was not a fan. But that was cool that they like provided it for you, so it was really easy to do. And then, um, I have to think what else. They have like tons of like little golf carts that drive around so they'll take you everywhere you need to go because the resort is so big like it would be hard to walk everywhere you want to go so they like take you everywhere I think that's it. I'm sorry it's kind of short, but I do have to meet my family for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna head out, but I love you guys, and like I said, I kind of half-assed the brushes, so if you guys want any of those brushes to be done again, I will definitely do that for you. Um, this was just a very spontaneous video, and I wanted to kind of talk about my trip, but um, I will try to make a video next week. Um, oh my gosh, this old black is amazing. My hair feels so soft.